for a short greeting. Please do it well. Let us celebrate God. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm so happy to be in this place of revival again. And uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to Daddy Gio and Mommy Gio for such a long time of partnering in soul winning. We have the same passion. We want to win souls for Jesus. Hallelujah. Ten years ago, in this place, we've started the Go Movement. And the Go Movement, we call every believer to be a witness. I tell you, if God could pick a fisherman and he became the apostle, if God, if God could pick a shepherd boy and he became a king, God can use you. Somebody say, God can use me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the last 10 years, we have seen the glory of God. Over 100 million people say, 100 million Christians mobilized and 71 million people saved. So many miracles because of ordinary praying. Christians were praying for the sick. Blind eyes open, deaf ears open, crippled walking. There was a lady in Gabon. She was not able to walk for many, many years. And then some ordinary Christians came, prayed for her. And she stood up and she began to walk. Hallelujah. But I tell you, this is only the beginning. This year we want to step into the next dimension. In the next 10 years. And we are fully in alignment with RCCG. We want to reach the world. And here we want to win 40 million souls. Can you imagine? It is possible to fulfill the Great Commission in the next 10 years. But the Bible is very clear. Not by might. Not by power. But by my spirit, says the Lord. And Jesus said, and this was his final word, Acts 1 verse 8. And you will receive power. You receive? And you will be my witness. Every believer, 2,000 years ago, 120 were praying. They were praying, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And they went to the streets and they turned the world upside down. This month is a go month, and we will all go and share the gospel. Every believer, I call all of you, go and win souls. In the time between Ascension Day and Pentecost, we expect 120 million to pray and to share the gospel. Can you imagine 120 million? I believe we can turn the world upside down. Amen. We will start with prayer. I believe in the power of prayer. I believe if we all pray, if we are all on our knees and pray for the lost, we will see salvations and miracles and healings. And the final prayer, Luke 10 verse 2, Lord of the harvest, send out labors, send me. But then we will all go and share the gospel. The gospel is still the power of God. There is only one way to heaven. And his name is? His name is? I was in a Muslim country and I've spoken with a young Muslim. And I've asked him a question. What do you think? Was Adam a Muslim, a Jew or a Christian? I said, no, there was no church, no temple, no mosque in Garden Eden. We are all created to know God, to know Him, relationship. But man turned away from the living God and Jesus came to restore the broken relationship with God. Three months ago, I was in the Ukraine. I was very close to the front line. I've heard bombardings and rockets all the time. And my son was with me. He just got married and his wife is pregnant. And I decided if there is a shooting, I would stand in front of my son and I would protect my son. And while this thought came into my mind, I saw this is what the living God 
has done for all of us. Jesus Christ decided, I will rather die. I will rather die on the cross than spending eternity without you. This is the greatest message of all time. The Son of God who died on a cross and arose on the third day. He is the Savior. Only Jesus can save all of us. But He is calling all of us. He is calling you and me. Go into all the world. Go into your world. Knock on your neighbor's door in a restaurant, supermarket, gas station. You can share the gospel everywhere. Imagine this year, 120 million are praying and sharing the gospel. There is an urgency. We have to go. It's not an option. People are on the way to eternity. But a Christless eternity called hell. There was a fireman standing in front of a building, in front of a house, and the house was burning. And people were crying, help! help and he had only one bucket of water but then he turned around and he saw hundreds of firemen loads of water what do you think in which direction he poured out the bucket i tell you he was shouting fireman wake up i tell you church wake up people are on the way to eternity and jesus christ came to seek and to save the lost for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life let's share the gospel in this following weeks everywhere Billy Graham said when they've asked him who is your successor he said all of you the whole church and he said we have to awake the sleeping giant God is calling you God wants to use you and this year in the months of May Pentecost weekend put it into your calendar May 27 Saturday it's a go day go and share the gospel and then May 28 around the world we will pray for a decade to reach the whole world we will commit the next 10 years for evangelism I tell you I believe we can fulfill the Great Commission are you excited are you excited hallelujah jump on your feet and pray with me we want to pray for the following weeks that around the world millions of people are getting saved people are getting healed and then I will send you to go raise your voice and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus let's pray for a broken and lost world what where Jesus Christ died for them to save them raise your voice and pray Lord I thank you that you came to seek and to save what is lost you died on the cross to save all of us and you promised receive the Holy Spirit receive it tonight in Jesus name receive the power of God tonight in Jesus name Lord this is your promise I will pour out my spirit on our flesh receive it tonight and go into all the world in your world and share the good news of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus we pray for a next decade Lord that we can fulfill the Great Commission that we can be united with all the different churches to achieve the great goal to fulfill the Great Commission and now finally pray the simple prayer with me wherever you are even online pray with me Lord of the harvest pray with me Lord of the harvest send out labors send me and use me I will see your glory salvation and healing in Jesus name and everybody said amen. amen hallelujah this will be a month of real revival real revival we receive the Holy Spirit and we go and we share the gospel thank you so much God bless you